Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere right there. Well, here we are. It's been a while. I've been busy. August and September, in my line of work, exhibits and stuff, seems to be the event months. Everything happens in August and September. Build everything in August, debut it in September. Don't know why, just is. So I've been a little busy. While I was tearing apart the leaf, I uh, had to build that stuff for work. So I didn't get too many videos out. I'm sorry about that. But we're back at it. I'm just kind of resting things where they go for the EV conversion. Uh, I've got my garage set up so I can pull out the pan and work on it or I pull out the body and work on it. And so yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Found out things I don't need. Uh, don't need a place for the shifter. Don't need the shift coupler. Don't need... You know, the EV will take care of that for me. Uh, Mother Nature took out all my trees, so now I'm getting more light in my driveway, so... It's 500 degrees right now. Uh, at least it feels like it. So, yeah, I want to use the leaf seats. These are nice. Bucket seats, cool. Headrest, little yard. They've also got heating and cooling in them. Why not? Um, yeah, there's a... There's a lot of cool stuff in these seats. Whole big wire harness plugged into them. Another fun thing I discovered. Let me bring in here. Come here, come here. Let me show you this. This is the power steering to the Nissan Leaf that I'll mount underneath. The uh, coupler already fits. Literally, it just no no issues. Just slid right on. So that. It's amazing. Whether that's long or short enough, I don't know. But we'll find out in a few short weeks. This is the Brake Master cylinder because the Leaf has ABS. So the goal is to make that work, but obviously it's not going to work right there. The nice thing about a Brake Master cylinder that doesn't fit in the old spot, nice thing is that all you got to do is press in that lever. You know, press in the uh, this part right here. So it could be a lever above it and then you press and so on and so forth. So it doesn't have to be exactly where the old brake was. As long as the pedal ends up where the brake was, you can press in on that and brakes work. Seeds will lovely go here. If you notice, they're ever so slightly bigger. That's not a little modification to the bracket and I'll gain that bracket's pushing in right there, so I'll gain three or four inches. Uh, but this is the basic layout that I've been measuring for today. Definitely going to keep the front suspension and back suspension. Because if you modify a suspension on your car heavily, which is, I could theoretically do that. If you do it heavily, it ends up changing what the car is. And then insurance says... Well, it's heavily modified. We're not going to insure it and all that stuff. Trust me, I know. My wife's an insurance agent. Um, so I had to follow the rules of the wife and the insurance. Uh, but if I use the front beam, ta-da, and I use the springs, ta-da, that means that this electric motor needs to be here. Um, so that the axle, which on these cars comes out, right there and same on the other side this one's a little bit modified on this side a little bit longer distance but basically you notice I've roughly lined it up so that the transmission which is not really a transmission it's it's the actual electric motor that's doing things see this big orange cable goes to it that means that that is definitely the whole electric motor and the whole thing's tiny like an electric motor is like only this part here down if you notice i tried to line up the transmission air quotes with the center of the car so that's where it's going to be so i'm going to end up shortening the axles which i have from the leaf and my goal 
or here is those are the steering ones. My goal is to modify them to fit here or at least hold the bearing part in the middle so that I can get that sensor to work because the sensors on these things are part of the ABS system. See, this wire right here plugs in right there. So I just need to make sure that still works. And that's built into the bearing, not so much a block. So if I can get that to, like, it's going to take some heavy modification on the bearing part, but I think I could pull it off. I've been looking at it. So yeah, so that axle comes up to here. So it's in line with those springs. And we're good to go. The cover van is standing up on its legs that I gave it. Um, the center here won't have a tank, but that means that I can keep something here, and that will be a battery. So the batteries in these things are actually in three sections. So my goal is to break it up into those three sections and keep those three sections, even if I modify the shape of those three sections. And then put one here, keeping the ability to have a spare tire. And then so the battery will be right there. And then there'll be two more batteries here, one, and a little compartment that's behind the seats. And then this door, which used to be able to give me access to the starter and the transmission, hopefully will give me the ability to do another battery there because the motor will be in the back. There's the battery actually. So yeah, and there's the old transmission I pulled out of the pan so that I could do this. Oh, there's the axles, common modern day CV axle. So there's both of them there. Old suitcase my son gave me to build something out of. Thinking about a little portable stereo. I mean, everybody does it, right? They're cool. So yeah, that's that. Still got a lot of work here to do. Got a lot of work on this foot area right there. But that firewall it's probably going to be modified to be a square section now. So I might mount that to the pan. So I'll cut that section out, reinforce it. Reinforce it a little bit. Cut the section out. And then that way you can stay on the pan. If I can do this right, I could still take the body off from this thing. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. I'm going to get rid of this mirror. As much as I like it, there's a door going there. You won't be able to see anything. So the mirror's not needed, but they make digital mirrors with cameras. So that'll be a camera-fed mirror going forward. Got myself in a pickle. Let me get out of this thing. Uh, here, we'll just go this way. Uh, so there you have it. We've got, this is the, the roughing out of the plan. Going to be able to master cylinder, all the smarts. There's also the little ABS computer thing that goes over here. I can put that down there. That'll definitely fit. Uh, steering might need to be shrunk. But if this ball joint fits, that means I can always move this ball joint up to that ball joint. And... Uh, it, yeah, I can make that work. Everything's compatible. Um, seats are awesome. Won't have much room in the back, but that's going to be a battery, you remember? So that's where that behind-the-seat battery goes. And then this guy is going to be the hard part. So this is going to be my first attack plan, is to make this sit here. Because once I get that in, everything else is going to be icing on the cake. Because everything else can literally go anywhere else, but this has to go there. The brake has to go there, so that'll probably be second. That way I get all the brain power out, and then the rest of it should just be a cakewalk. I'm getting hungry, all these cake references. 
Okay. So, got piles and piles of stuff. I'm hiding the uh, leaf for now. See, I made it look like it's actual, you know. Driving past, nobody notices. And uh, we're getting rid of that probably this week. And that'll be a spectacular video. That's the next video coming up. Uh, front wire harness. This is the old dash to the leaf. I may need the bracket to put the steering in. Which I think is... Let me look at it here. Yeah, it is that side. So that'll be the... That, I may or may not need sections of that to put the steering column into the beetle front. This is the AC heater unit. So I found out from one of the videos I watched, if this is not plugged into the car, the car won't go into drive. That's the heater unit. That's pretty spectacular to know because I would have been struggling because why would I hook up a heater to do a test? So I'll have to plug that in. This is a whole heating slash AC unit, which means the coils are in there, everything. So I will probably end up stripping that down and making it fit either in, if I can get it small enough, it would be really nice to have right here so that it blows and I'll maybe, you know, I could put a vent here and blow in. Uh, if I can't get it small enough, it'll probably end up behind the seat with the battery because the battery shouldn't be too high. Um, might even put it in there. And then I'll just put a cover over it with heat vents blowing between the seats. You know, in this little area right here. I'll just have it blown right there to blow on the driver and passenger. Because really that's all you need. Once, once it's blown on you, you don't need to like cool the cabin or heat the cabin. Yeah. So if you guys want to see this... Get mounted there with all of this stuff on a beetle pan in a Kefir van. Stay tuned. And if you're new here, subscribe, like, do all that cool stuff if I've given you value. This is the, this is the future of the project. Right there. So, yeah. Catch you next time. Get out in the garage and do something. Cool stuff.